Hello everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game you will need two sheets of paper, something to write with, and for this game a ruler. I'm using an inch ruler, 12 inch ruler. Maybe some other colored markers as well. And then some playing pieces. Dice would be good. If you have six that's great, if you don't, three, we'll just use them twice. And I have some playing pieces as well. Oh, and a bear. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by making my game board. And I'll use both these sheets of paper to start with. It's a little tricky, but let's try to put them like this. So they're butted up against each other like this. And then I want to put my ruler in the middle with a six on the very, very space between. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to start by making an outline of this ruler. Very carefully holding down in place all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to move it down just a little bit and I'm going to start putting marks on the topmost line. Now watch where I put the marks. These are very, very important. What I want to do first is I want to put a mark on every one of the numbers. And this is a big mark. So go ahead and be generous with this one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's already one at twelve. Let's put a dot at every half measure. Halfway between the zero and the one, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, and eleven and a half. Now I'm going to start numbering my ruler. Let's start at the very end here. We're going to call this whole measure just one. So this very end here is going to be our one. Now I'm going to measure a half. If this is one, then right about here at the six is going to be one half. The one is also going to be two halves. Now I'm going to think about thirds. If they're 12 inches, a third of 12 inches is 4 inches. So I'm going to write right here, 1 third. 2 thirds is going to be 4 and 4 more. So 2 thirds will be right here. 2 thirds. And the whole ruler will be 3 thirds. Let's go ahead and put in our fourths. 12 inches, a fourth of 12 inches, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So I'll put one-fourth here. Two-fourths is going to be three more inches. It's going to be right here with a half, so this is going to be two-fourths. And three more inches is the nine, and this is going to be three-fourths. And of course, all of them will make four-fourths. Now we're going to put in the sixths. And if they're 12 inches, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So if I look at my ruler, 1 sixth is going to be right here at the 2. And then the next sixth is going to be 2 more inches at the same place where the thirds are. This is going to be 2 sixths. And 2 more inches puts us right here in the middle. And this is going to be 3 sixths. And 2 more inches at the 2 thirds is going to be 4 sixths. Two more inches will take us right here, and this is going to be five sixths. And of course, at the very end, we're going to have six sixths as a whole. Six parts out of six as a whole. Now we're going to add one more, and this is what's going to be the trickiest one. These are fifths. Five doesn't go into twelve very easily. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you exactly where you might put this, okay? A fifth 
we could take five measures of this, but it's a little bit less than that. So right here, just below, just next to this mark here, is where the first fifth is, one fifth. Now the next measure for this, the next place where a fifth might be, is going to be all the way out here. So we have one third, and then just on the other side of this mark is going to be two fifths. Now we're going to have to go an equal measure onto the other side, and we can see there's two thirds. If we put a measure right in here, this is going to be three fifths. And then we'll have to come all the way out here next to the five sixths. We go, we scooch in just a little bit close to this mark. This will be four fifths. And you know where five fifths will be. Now we're done with our ruler. That was the hardest part of making this game board. Let's remember at this end of the game board is zero. Let's make this a little more interesting. Let's make a line, say from right here, coming down. That's good. And on the other side, a similar line. All right. Now what do we need down here? I know what we need. We need some water. Let's make sure that it's a little bit wavy down here. And what's in the water? Well, let's see. Let's draw a straight line like this, a lump like that, some other bumps, and then a big round bump. Okay. How about a little nose and an eye? I think that's a crocodile or an alligator. Let's put another one over here. A straight line. A bump in the front, lots of other bumps, maybe really craggly. This one's an old one. A big knob there. We've got the eye. And we've got two crocodiles in there. We don't want to fall down at the crocodiles in the water. Let's go ahead and make a line up this way and up here. But also flatten this out a bit. Maybe a little bit more over here. And I always like to put clouds in. Let's go ahead and make a big cloud here. Doesn't, look, doesn't it look like an alligator? Let's make another one over here, bigger one. OK. We need to add one more piece to this. And this is going to be over here in this corner. What we want to do is draw a hexagon. So flat top, sides coming down. This does not have to be perfect. Another side, another side, and a flat bottom. And around this hexagon, we want to put the numbers 0, 1, 1 half, 3 fourths, 1 fifth, and 2 thirds. And we want to give this game a name, and I'm going to call it Fraction Bridge. That's a great game board. Let's set it up so we can play it. Let's see. Almost there. Make it a little more straight. There we go. All right. Let's make our game playable. What we need are some pieces. So two players. You can decide how many pieces you want. But you want to put pieces on one side of the bridge, at the zero side. So blue's going to have four pieces on the blue side of the bridge. And red will have four pieces as well. And of course, what we're trying to do is get across the bridge, right? So four and four. And then we'll need the dice as well. Red will use the red dice, and blue will use the yellow dice. And we'll need a marker, too. This is special. So to play the game, we need to put a marker over here on this wheel. You can start anywhere you want. I'm going to start at one half. Each turn, you're going to move along this wheel to a different number. And this will determine which fraction matters along the bridge. Right now, it's one half. So I'm going to move my marker to one half. Both players are thinking about one half 
as what's important. So red is going to roll the dice and look at all the possibilities here and try to find the fraction with the dice that is closest to one half. Red could make two-thirds. Two-thirds is here, but we want to be at one-half. Red could also make one-third, one-third, but that's over here. That's equal distance. That's not close to a half. What else could red do? Oh, red could make one-half. So red moves a piece onto the bridge to one-half. Blue's going to take a turn. Blue rolls the dice and looks at all the possibilities. Look at the same numbers. So guess what? Blue can also make one half, and blue moves a piece here. Right now it's a tie, and we're going to leave both pieces there. Watch what happens next. Red goes again, but this time we're trying to get to three-fourths. Three-fourths is the magic number. So red rolls the dice, and red has these possibilities. Red could make one-sixth, red could make one-fifth, or red could make five-sixths. Which one do you think is the best for getting close to three-fourths? Red decides to make the five-sixths, which is right here. Look where three-fourths is. Five-sixths and three-fourths. That's great. So red's had a turn. Blue takes a turn. Blue has 1 and 6, could be 1 sixth. The other possibility is 6 sixths. Now 1 sixth is over here, and we're trying to get all the way to 3 fourths. 3 fourths is the number that matters. 1 sixth is over here. That's not close enough. 6 sixths is a lot closer. So blue puts a piece over here. But look, red is closer. So red's pieces, since red wins this round, red's pieces get to cross the bridge. Blue's pieces have to go back, trying not to get eaten by the crocodiles. Let's play another round. This time blue will go first, and we're trying to get as close as possible to one-fifth. We're going to one-fifth, so let's move the marker to one-fifth, and one-fifth is right here. And blue rolls three, a six, and a four. Which one do you think is the best? If we go to three-fourths, blue's piece is going to be all the way out over here, trying to get to here. That's kind of far, three-fourths. What about four-sixths? Four-sixths looks like four-sixths. Where is it? Oh, that's better. But look how far it is from one-fifth. What if instead... Blue chooses three-sixths. Three-sixths is here. It's pretty close. Not great, but it's okay. Red's going to take a turn. And red rolls a one, a four, and a five. Red could choose four-fifths and put a piece over here. Four-fifths is way over here. That's pretty far from one-fifth. Red could also choose to do one-fourth. One-fourth is pretty close, but of course, as you see it already, red also could choose one-fifth and just move right here and be the winner. You know what that means for blue? Blue has to go back home, and red takes another piece to the other end of the bridge. At this point, red's doing really, really well. The game goes back and forth, taking turns, always moving the marker to the right place, using the dice in any combination you want to make a fraction that is closest to the target fraction from the wheel. This is the game Fraction Bridge, and for this game you need two sheets of paper, something to write with, a ruler, some colored markers as well would be good, a marker for the wheel, a marker for the bridge, some playing pieces, dice. If you only have three dice, you can share, but if you have six, it's great. And what else? Oh, a bear. Enjoy this game.